Today we're talking about budget beginner cook kits. It's the only one I have, it's my first one, and I still think it's the best one out there for beginners. Let's talk about it. There's an interesting problem that happens when you decide you want to get into backpacking. You get out there, you usually start looking at backpacks, tents, sleeping bags, and the last thing on your mind, at least it was for me, was what am I going to eat? This was one of the last pieces of gear that I bought before my first backpacking trip, but it is definitely one of the most important, because let me tell you, man cannot live off of granola bars alone. You just can't. So I found this completely on a whim, by accident, and yet, I think it's one of the best backpacking beginner cook kits out there. Uh, it's super affordable, which is partly why I think it's a great deal, and it comes with everything you need. That's right, everything you need. I'm not joking, everything. It's a one and all versatile option. But before we go any further, my name's Jesse, and this is Backcountry Forward, where we're all about getting backpackers backpacking. I believe the backcountry is for everyone, so I offer the tips and tools you need to be backcountry forward but let's get to it i'm going to break this into two parts i'm going to first look at the essentials of what comes with this cook kit and then i'm going to show you guys my unique system and how i do it i should also say that my entire cook kit which weighs under a pound costs me much less than fifty dollars to put together so this is definitely a budget option we'll get to that later on Let's start with an out-of-the-box review. Essentially, this is what you're going to get when you buy the core centerpiece of your cook system, which is what's in this bad boy right here. Also, I should make mention that while mine is called the Wolf Yolk, uh, this cook kit goes by many different names. I will be showing in a second which cook kit not to get and why I strongly suggest beginners do not buy another popular cook kit that you can find on Amazon, but get this one instead. It goes by a lot of different names like Biz Gear or Honest Equipment or something like that. It goes by all different names. Uh, up here in Canada, Wolf Yolk is the one that you can get on Amazon.ca and in the States, I'll let, put some links in the description below of what you guys can get. That's an awesome setup. So like I said, I've been using this cook kit for the past two years now, um, and it was only this year that I really worked on modifying my system, but this is basically what you get out of the box. You get a uh, stuff, uh, stuff kit, and you get a frying pan, and a well-used, well, it's not well-used once it's first out of the box, well-used pot. Now, I very rarely bring the frying pan and just use the pot, so that saves me some weight. If I had to bring this every single time, it would add unnecessary weight to the gear. But inside, this is where the goodies are, it comes jam-packed with a bunch of different goodies. And again, this varies slightly by brand, from brand to brand. Some have a few extra bells and whistles, some comes with a spork or a fork or a spoon, a folding spoon of something like that. Mine didn't, mine actually came with a little flashlight, um, and a, a little emergency saw, which as you can see, I've never really used. I have used the flash, flashlight a little bit. And then it comes with two little bowls and a little ladle scoop thingamajigger. But the big thing here and why this is such a great kit in my opinion is that it comes with the stove and not just any stove this is a jet stove it's a great high pressure um, butane stove but not just that it comes with an ignition so you don't need to if you don't want to bring a little mini bic to light this you can just turn it on with the valve here and then press your ignition button and in an instant you've got flames and then you can take your pot and rest it right on top just like that and that is the core of this cook kit. Now, the reason I think that this is such a better system than other systems out there is because it comes with this lid. Many other cook kits on Amazon, like the Tom Shoe, come with a frying pan that has to sit on top in order to have a lid. And the downside with that is if you don't want the frying pan or you never use the frying pan, like I rarely do, you don't have a lid. And then you just got a pot, and that's not the end of the world, but trust me, a lid on top lowers the amount of time it takes to boil water or cook your food by a lot. So having a separate lid is 
totally worth it. Now, if you sort of get rid of all the bells and whistles and you just keep the cook kit by itself, the pot, pan, and stove in the stuff sack weighs 16.64 ounces, which is just over a pound. But if you get rid of the pan, it drops everything down to just 10.4 ounces. So you're well under that one pound range so that you can add some necessary accessories to keep things underweight and yet versatile. And so that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna show you how I put my entire cook kit together that keeps it under a pound or just over a pound once you factor in the fuel. Oh yeah, here, let me show you how to turn this bad boy on. Just like that. Simple. Off. On. Love it. Simple, easy, no lighter necessary. Obviously, you'll want to have some sort of backup fire source like a match or maybe a big, mi a big mini in your emergency case in case for some reason this fails. You never know, gear can fail at any point and you'll want a backup option. P.S. This little stove is called the E-Tech City or I-Tech City uh, stove. It's a great stove. I've been using it a ton. Love it. Never had a problem with it. Boils on my water in easily under five minutes. I haven't done too many time tests, but I love it. Haven't had any problems. So a few cool things I have with my system are these little things, which are 3D printed little legs that my friend Kyle made for me uh, that I can put on my pot. Thanks, Kyle. Those were a birthday gift, so cost him all of like 25 cents, he said. So I just keep those in with the stove. So the first thing that I have is my windscreen for my stove, which is just a homemade windscreen, which I actually made out of one of these. That's right, just like a cheap $1.25 from Dollar Rammer or Dollar Tree roasting pan. And I cut off the bottom basically, folded it up, and I have that. I'll do a little bit more of a detailed video on some of the gear that I have inside of this bad boy. But basically I have that, I roll it up, and then I put my fuel canister, which this whole system can hold a small fuel canister. It can also hold a large fuel canister, one of the like 350 models. The only downside is you're gonna wanna put it upside down, and then the lid doesn't fit perfectly. I mean, you can tell it's it's a little wobbly, but once it's in its stuff sack and all cinched together, it's actually pretty good. But with one of the smaller cans, everything fits in here nicely. So I put my can in there, I put my stove in there. It is definitely a little tight. You can tell there's a little bit of a squeeze, but I haven't had any problems with that. Then I have just a little cut off sponge. I put the little sponge in there and Sometimes the sponge just doesn't cut it. I want something for me. So I've t cut off a piece of like a sham wow cloth, a little chamois, and I take that, I put that in there. And then it's always good to have an emergency lighter. So I have mine just in my cook kit, just like that. So if ever that little ignition switch does stop working, I have my backup. And then last but not least, put the lid on there. Oh boy, put it in its stuff sack. And there's one last piece of gear, one important piece of gear that I need to eat this food. Now when I first started backpacking, I just went to the dollar store and got one of these. These are a buck 50. It comes with a spoon, a fork, a knife, and all on this little tiny carabiner. It's not a bad deal, honestly. They're pretty lightweight, they're plastic. How can you go wrong? I have a couple of these kicking around just in case I ever need them. So they're, they're a great option. The other thing that I did was I went out to McDonald's and I got a McFlurry spoon. That's right, a McFlurry spoon. The cool thing about this is you can find any old stick jab it into the end and you have an extended handle. It's a hack, people. An extended handle to reach deep into those dehydrated meal bags, and that's awesome. I've since switched that out, and thanks to Dan Becker, got myself a human gear, Go Bites. I love this thing. Slides apart real easy, slides back together, and you got a spork, spoon, it has even like little sharp edges for a knife. It's great, and so what I do is I take this, and I put it on top, I seal it all down, cinch it closed, and bada boom, bada bing, with a nearly full canister of fuel, it weighs 1.36, which I believe 1.4 is what I weighed it when it was full pounds. That is perfect. Ironically, that's the amount of weight as if I had left all the insides out and just brought this thing which I really don't need. I've brought it once and cooked bacon in it. That bacon was amazing. But I generally don't need that, and this 
fits everything that I need for any of my backpacking trips. If you're just getting backpacking, this is an awesome option and I'll leave a link in the description below. So that's my budget beginner backpacking cook kit and why I think it's a great option for you. It has everything you need. It comes with a pot, it comes with a lid, it comes with a pan if you should choose it, and it comes with a stove plus a few other handy things and it all comes under $50. Usually the set ranges anywhere from $25 to $35. The Go Bite spoon cost me another $10 and everything else I had laying around the house, it was an awesome option. But more importantly, there's other systems that you need to keep on your mind that you need to make some decisions for. So I'm gonna put together a little playlist of the five backpacking system that every beginner needs to make some decisions on and think about as they get started. Just five short videos of things that I used as I started this journey not too long ago. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.